I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to find area of the segment. The diagram below shows a circle of radius OA 6 cm. So O is our center, A is our point on the circle, center is 6 cm radius. Now angle AOB is 2 pi by 3 so let this be B in that case this angle is 2 pi by 3. Find the shaded area. So we need to find this area. This is called segment. So we'll find area of the segment. Now to find the area of the segment you should first find the area of the sector AOB and then take away area of the triangle. So that is the steps right. So we have area of sector. Let us find first area of the sector. Now area of the sector is area of the circle times 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 pi, right? So area of the sector is area of circle times whatever angle is given to us divided by the total angle which is 2 pi, right? So one full circle is 2 pi. Since we are working in radians, we will take 2 pi as the angle correct so now we can find area of the sector in this case as area of the circle for us radius is 6 is pi 6 square angle given to us is 2 pi by 3 so it is 2 pi by 3 and we have to divide by 2 pi so it is 1 over 2 pi correct so now we can simplify this a bit and then find the answer okay so 6 square is 36, you can say uh, 36, I mean 36 pi by 3 or 12 pi, right? So we get 12 pi as our answer for this particular area of sector. In decimals we could write this as 12 times pi which is equals to in decimals around 37 point let us say 70 okay so that is the answer for us for area of the sector now let us find area of triangle now area of triangle is kind of tricky here uh, for area of the triangle we need to know the base and the height we know that this is six centimeters right since we know want to find base and the height we could use cosine law to find the base but that really does not solve our problem because we also need to find the height okay so to find the height what we can do is if I drop a perpendicular from the center to the chord AB in that case it is going to divide AB into two equal parts right so let us call this center point as M midpoint now we can now say that the two angles are half of 2 pi by 3 that means each is pi by 3 correct so each angle here let me write down each angle here this each angle here are they are equal and each is pi by 3 is that okay so now we can actually find am and om using sine and cosine of pi by 3 correct so that is what we will do first and then then we'll we'll find the area so let me do all this uh, on this side so what we know here is angle a o m is equals to pi by 3 i should write 2 pi by 3 divided by 2 which is pi by 3 correct so we know that sine of pi by 3 should be equal to opposite side is a m divided by hypotenuse of 6 right so that gives us am equals to 6 times sine pi by 3 similarly we can find what om is om is 6 times cos pi by 3 correct you can use special triangles you know pi by 3 triangle right so in a special triangle we know if this angle is pi by 3 then the sides are 1 2 square root 3 perfect so you know what am is so we can write 
E m as equal to sine pi by 3 square root 3 over 2. So if you calculate, you will say this is 3 square root 3. Perfect. And cos pi by 3 is half of 6, right? Half. So it is 3. So these are my sides. Another thing you will notice that base is AB. So AB is indeed equals to 2 times AM, right? 2 times AM, which is 2 times 3 square root 3 or 6 square root 3. So now we know all these sides. So we can substitute these values and find the area of triangle, correct? So we can say that the area of triangle here is half basis AB times height of OM. So we'll write this as equals to half. AB will be 2 times AM. We actually found this 6. We could write that also. Anyway, so we'll say 2 times AM for the time being. That is AB. And OM is, is uh, 3 for us. Okay, so let me write down the value. Okay, so basically 2 and 2 cancels. So 3 times AB is just 3 times a, B is, I mean, I mean this is wrong, A, M, right? 2 times A, M. So, A, M is, we found 3 square root 3, 3 square root 3. Okay, so basically it is uh, 3 times 3 square root 3. Product of these two, what I'm trying to say here is, correct? So, 9 square root 3. So, we can write this as 9 square root 3 or its decimal value. Let's calculate the decimal value. So we have 9 times square root 3 which is in decimals 15.588. So it is it is 15.588 or 59. So now we can find what is the area of the segment. So we say area of segment equals to area of sector minus triangle area, right? So, area of sector we found as 37.70 minus this which is 15 point, let's say 59, right? So that gives us the answer. So it is 37.70 minus 15.59 which is approximately equals to 22.1 since the units are in centimeters we can write this in centimeter square so we get our answer that the area of the shaded region is 22.1 centimeter square right i hope the steps are clear and this is a very important question from test point of view also so remember segment area you can find by subtracting area of triangle from the area of sector and that's how you do it Thank you and all the best.